Well, on Wednesdays here on 12 News Now at 4, we are joined by Medical Director from the Rhode Island Department of Health, Dr. Jim McDonald. Dr. M, thanks for being with us. Good afternoon, Kim. It's always fun to hang out with you on these Wednesday afternoons. I wanted to ask you, doctor, about a story that crossed NPR today um, about multiple studies that say the death rate for COVID-19 has sharply dropped. And according to one study in the article, patients had 25.6% chance of dying at the start of the pandemic compared to a 7.6% chance now. So why is this and what do you take away from this change? Yeah, so when we look at mortality, I think it's important just to have context about this. So right now, like when I think about in Rhode Island, the mortality rate from COVID was around 10% the end of April, early May, that was the peak. We're seeing mortality rates under 2% right now. And what's changed? One is we're doing a lot more testing. So we're finding younger people. So when you find younger people, there are cases However, they do well, and we, they generally do well. The other thing is treatment has changed. We've made some progress in treatment in the hospital with dexamethasone, other steroid medicines, other anti-inflammatories. We're getting better at knowing when to use anticoagulation, in other words, thinning people's blood so the clotting doesn't become a problem. The ventilator management is better as well. So I think it's really just a couple things. One is we're finding more cases, more younger people, but also our treatment is getting improved. And, and so that's heading in the right direction there in that regard. That's why I think you're seeing that across the country as well as in Rhode Island. Um, the positivity rate among first time test takers on October 19th was 11.5%. That's the highest it's been since May. So what does this tell us? Yeah, I think what it tells us is we're heading in the wrong direction and we're heading there far quicker than we need to be. I mean, one of the things that we're doing is a lot of testing. We want to find the cases. But, you know, a key concept here is. And this is sometimes simple, but sometimes the simple things are the smartest things. The more people who have COVID, the more people who are going to get COVID. And, and that's really important to understand because keep in mind, this pandemic started with just one person in China, December 30th. We're now, it's all over the place. And in order to contain it, you really need to decrease your cases. So when people are living a certain way where they're just going about like there is no pandemic, maybe they're tired of the darn thing, uh, they put themselves at risk. So the more cases, the more we spread. And it really gets to, we're seeing the positivity rate head in the wrong direction. In one sense, I'm glad we're finding the cases. In another sense, I'm concerned. The last question I have for you, Dr. M, um, is about something that Dr. Scott Gottlieb said. He's the former commissioner of the FDA. Um, he said, I think we're about two or three weeks behind Europe. So we're about a week away from starting to enter a period where we're going to see a rapid acceleration in cases. That's a quote from him. Do you agree? I'm worried about our future. Uh, I'm worried as we go indoors, things are going to get worse. And what I'm worried about is just quite frankly, the more cases, the more cases we're going to get. The trend is heading in the wrong direction rapidly, more rapidly than I'd like to see it. And, and I think part of it is Europe we're not that different than Western Europe. We're just not. And I worry about where we're headed. And I think this is one of those things where commitment is important. I think you really need to be committed to your role in the pandemic and commitment matters. And so I think right now it's really about grab a mirror, take a peek inside the mirror and see who's in that mirror. And if you're not committed to preventing the pandemic every single day for you, then we're gonna have a problem here. Dr. Jim McDonald from the Rhode Island Department of Health joins us here on 12 News Now at 4 on Wednesdays. Dr. M, thank you. Thank you, Kim. Have a great and keep up the good.